seems I have a last minute cancellation in my social calendar any night of the week. And uh, <laughs> well, I was wondering if you'd like, you would? This Saturday night? Okay, Al, I'm ready. Uh, listen, Naomi, I'm gonna call you right back with the address, okay? My ma, Seuss, is just leaving. <laughs> Is that you, Ma? No. I just feel awful that you and Kelly got sick and can't come with us to my family reunion. <laughs> and I really hate to leave you in this condition. After all, I wouldn't want people to think I'm an unfit parent. <laughs> Let me see this. 98.6. Is that good? Nope. No. Maybe I really should stay home. I hate to miss out on the festivities, though. This year, they're gonna celebrate the first annual Wanker County Olympic Games. Damn this fever. <laughs> you and Dad have a tire-hugging good time. Oh, well, we will. Bye, Buck. Bye, house. Bye, couch. Oh, boy. Let's go, Al. <laughs> <laughs> yes. As the only non-blood relative invited, they're counting on you to officiate the Olympics. Now let's go before we miss the ceremonial lighting of Cousin Jeb. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, we got everything. The water purification tablets. Check. The meat, fish, grain purification tablets. Check. The wanker translation book. <laughs> you know, English to gibberish. Check. Uh, Dad? You want me to take the bag to the car? Yeah, she can walk. <laughs> Listen, son, by the way, if you don't hear from me at least once a day, then Ann Skeeter probably violated parole and baked me into one of her pies. <laughs> in which case, call 911. Or as they say in Wanker County, 911. Hey, bud, guess what? Damn, this fever. <laughs> Oh, poor thing. Hey, Peg, I think I'm coming down with something. Yes. You're coming down with me to Wanker County. <laughs> well, they're gone. Uh, for a whole week. And guess what, Kel? Next Saturday night, I got a shot at a babe who hasn't used the word no since the last time someone asked her if she ever used the word no. Well, what if I said that I needed the house next Saturday night? What if you said you were on fire? <laughs> I mean, either way, it means nothing to me. Well, then you're gonna have to be the one to tell the little children that they'll never learn to read. Kel, there's nothing you can say to me right now that... <laughs> tell what little children they'll never learn to read? Well, you know the anti-illiteracy campaign that I've been so active in? No. That's the one. You see, Budrick, these kids look at me as the verminator, and all they see is glamour and bright lights and deadly poison, but I'm more than just a sexy chick who kills bugs. I'm a role model. So I volunteered to shoot a public service announcement in the house to encourage them to read. <laughs> but Kel, you can't read. Yeah, well, you can't score, but you still have a bed. <laughs> anyway, I just thought that it was time that I gave something back to the community. Well, judging by the lines at the free clinic, you already have. <laughs> You know, that's the sort of crack that would make the old Kelly call you a rubber-loving Barbie thumper. <laughs> but that's the old Kelly. The new Kelly is simply gonna ask you to let me have the house next Saturday night so I can show these poor kids the beauty of the little engine that could. Ah, oh, I love the little engine that could. 
Yeah, we all did, bud, but some of us have moved on. 